All right, so this is the uh, deconstruction and just kind of a quick uh, video showing what the inside of a Seagate laptop hard drive looks like. I've taken apart one of these before. This is a similar one. It's a 320 gigabyte uh, momentous. Uh, apparently my camera doesn't want to zoom in on it, but you should be able to read that. And this drive has um, some bad sectors, similar to pretty much every other Seagate I've owned, which is why I won't buy these anymore, but this came from an internal drive that was, um, I mean an external drive rather, and it started having issues, so I took the casing off, and surely enough it was one of these. So, first thing we're going to do, this little back plate here, alright, I can't really do it very well with one hand, unfortunately. Um, Try to put the camera down here. Let's see. That should do it. Okay. So, I apologize for the bad quality. I'm trying to use my phone to record this. And it does do 1080p, but, uh, you know, can't work miracles here. I'm trying to record a, you know, less than a foot away. It's not going to really focus very well. So, basically, this is the actual processing part of it. As in, if the drive just mysteriously dies and it won't spin up at all, one of the suggestions is to replace this part. You can buy these on eBay for pretty cheap. They're basically the uh, the backplate or whatever. I don't know what the technical term is for it, but I'll show you what this does. This does not actually affect the disc itself. This is purely just a connector, and it connects to the rest of the drive via a little piece of metal. This is the, should be the last screw here, and then I can take this off for you. Okay. Here we go. So, let's see this piece right here. I guess I can go ahead and pick the camera back up. Okay, so this piece here is what goes on the back of the drive. You see you have your serial ATA connectors on here. And this drive now, the back, there's nothing. And you see you have this little piece here. This little metal piece. Um, it's hard to it's hard to see in the camera, but they're basically little metal terminals here, and um, that's pretty much it, all right. And so this part, all of this little foamy stuff is just uh, you know protected against vibration, and then this little unit here connects to those pins and it relays it over the serial ATA. So this part, you can, like I said, you can buy these for pretty cheap on eBay. They are specific to that brand. I don't know if other brands other than Seagate have these pins. I mean, every every company is different. But you can actually get, like for example, this is a Seagate Momentus. You can just buy one of these by itself if your drive just stops working. But in this case, it's actually bad sector. So we're gonna do, you see these, I might not be able to see them, but they're star-shaped screws, whereas these were Phillips. You know, like the plus-shaped ones. So, I have a universal screwdriver kit here. I'm going to take the Phillips head out and put the Torx bit. Torx is the, the name for the star-shaped uh, uh, star head. And now I should be able to undo these. So, same thing as before. I'm going to just set the camera down and unscrew these. And you'll be able to see inside the disc itself. This you don't want to ever do unless you are basically destroying the disc, which is what I'm doing here. Um, I'm getting rid of it. There's no data on it. I mean, I already erased it. If you're trying to fix a hard drive, I would not recommend taking these apart. Unless, you know, you actually know what you're doing. Because you could very easily just... And if you have data on here that you wanted, it'll all be gone. So, 
just a word to the wise, don't be doing this unless you have the intent of destroying all the data on your drive. Which again is what I'm trying to do here because I, it's, it's defective and I'm trying to get rid of it. And the best way to make sure that nobody gets your data is to take the drive apart and destroy it. If you just chuck a hard drive in the trash, somebody can just pick it up, plug it in, and even if there's some problems with it, it'll probably still work. Okay. Yeah, so these ones have this issue where you have to... Let's see. I forget how you do this, because I have all the screws out, but it's still, it's still attached. You basically have to break a seal to get this to come off. Uh, I know you're not going to be able to see this on the camera. Alright, there. I just heard it pop. So, there's probably a better way to do this. There's a screw somewhere in here. Oh, I know what it is, actually. It's under this little... They do this for warranty purposes. This little silver thing here, there's a screw under this. So let's just go ahead and um, break that open. And I can unscrew it. Now I should be able to just take this off. Yeah, okay. So, I just went ahead and ripped this off. This right here is the needle, or the head, as they call it. You see this, since this is a higher uh, capacity drive, there's a couple different ones. Older drives only have one of these. So, you see there's two different, there's two different sets. Um, and I just tore the cable off in order to get this top unit off. There's a screw that held this on. Okay, so here is your actual disc right here. This thing I'm spinning. So they call it a hard disc drive because it's a hard disc. <laughs> okay. Now these were originally made of solid metal, but these newer drives are mostly glass. So it doesn't look like glass, it's silver. Well, it's because it's painted. <laughs> it's a metallic silver. So, first things first, in order to get this out, again, we have one more screw to undo. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, unfortunately. Yeah, here we go. It's this little piece. There we go. It doesn't actually, you don't actually have to undo it, it just holds that in, so. Oh yeah, right, and there's one in the middle that holds the disc on. That's, again, probably a smart decision to do that, so. Let's go ahead and... This one's really hard to unscrew, but... This is the, the vital one. You take this out and your hard drive doesn't work anymore because the discs just start flying around. Okay, so you see there's like a little washer unit here on top. And you have disc one. And just, well, I mean, it's not really. Yeah, and there's a, a ring, some other stuff. And here you go. So you have the two actual discs. Now, yeah, I know these look shiny, but I can assure you that they're actually made of glass. So, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, break this for you, but I learned my lesson last time when I got broken glass all over the place. You want to do it over a trash can, so I will go ahead and just get a trash can here. And boom, I don't even know where all the parts went, but you could hear that thing shatter. <laughs> oh wow, okay, let's try this again, see if I can. That just went all over the place. There. Oh, I think I just... Yeah, I definitely just got some in my thumb. <laughs> but, as you can see, I just made a crack in it. Looks like Pac-Man right now. And, uh... Yeah. Ow, that really hurts. I just got some glass in my 